Now, your first alert weather with meteorologist Michael Coates. All right, taking a live look here at the Osborne Bridge along Highway 20, just south of Island Park, looking back towards Island Park. Beautiful day there through the high country. I uh, got a few clouds coming through. Uh, a couple thunderstorms trying to get with us, but mostly well to the northeast of us. Not really a threat locally for any of our viewers. Uh, we could get a couple threatening clouds at Island Park later tonight, but you really have to go well east of the region out towards the high plains to see anything. For tomorrow, we're going to start picking up on a disturbance from the northwest. Now, this area of low pressure is going to push in across Washington, northern Idaho, and Montana. As it does so, we're actually going to pick up on gusty winds here and dropping temperatures. Now, today, we are hitting highs very close to 90 degrees, but we're going to take it down a notch about 10 degrees cooler here for tomorrow and Wednesday with the passage of this disturbance. Now, as it swings through, we do expect to see some showers and thunderstorms across Montana and the High Plains once again, but we're going to stay fairly dry locally with the exception of a few storms coming into central Idaho. Here's a look at that wind map here for tonight, uh, looking at quiet conditions. And as we get into tomorrow morning about 8 a.m., I'm going to freeze the clock for you because we're just starting to see the wind coming in here across uh, the Magic Valley and the lower Snake River Plain. And the winds tomorrow morning already starting to get up to about at 20 miles an hour, and that's around Blackfoot, Pocatello, Burley, and the Minicasha area. And then as we go throughout the day, the winds really start to pick up here for the rest of us. It's going to be quite windy for the midday and the afternoon. As we get to about 4 or 5 o'clock, we'll have sustained winds well over 20 miles an hour in Idaho Falls, and your guests approaching 40 miles an hour. Even places like Island Park getting quite breezy tomorrow. We'll have more wind with us here for Wednesday, just not as windy. So we'll call it breezy for Wednesday. In terms of shower threats, tomorrow just a low risk of thunderstorms up around Salmon. But even then, Chalice, Stanley, Ketchum, you're actually going to be a little bit drier than Lemhi County. We look to the east. We're not seeing much happening towards Jackson or Yellowstone or Island Park tomorrow. Maybe a couple of some evening thunderstorms getting close to West Yellowstone. But generally, it's going to be a dry, breezy forecast for the next couple of days. And taking a look further down the road, we have high pressure with us, warming highs into the 90s this weekend. Just a minor threat for thunderstorms, but on the whole, it's going to be a fairly quiet forecast for the rest of the week. 80 for Montpelier and Soda Springs tomorrow with lows in the upper 40s there tonight. We'll be close to the mid 80s for Malad City and Preston with lows there into the upper 50s tonight and 79 out towards Afton. Wyoming with 77 in Jackson and Driggs. 80 for Rexburg, 80 for Dubois and St. Anthony and 76 in Island Park with highs in central Idaho at 81 for Chow, 79 in Salmon, 81 in Arco. Idaho Falls at 82 with 84 in Pocatello, 84 in Burley. Check out your eight-day forecast. Things are warming up. Things are really heating up here for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with highs getting in the upper 80s to low 90s. And that pattern is going to just uh, be with us all the way through next week as well. It's just going to be warm and a fairly dry outlook. Very low risk of thunderstorms. So 79 for Wednesday in Idaho Falls, 84 for Thursday, close to 90 degrees for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Pocatello, I got you at 84 for tomorrow. 80 on Wednesday, then we're going to leap into the upper 80s, low 90s to get us into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's going to be toasty this weekend. I think uh, kids will be definitely trying to jump through the sprinklers in the backyard this weekend. With, again, highs well into the 90s for Pocatello. will be in the low 90s for Blackfoot. 80 degrees for Wednesday, 85 on Thursday, 90 for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday with 92 on Sunday. And we pull in some clouds next week beginning on Monday. That takes us down to the upper 80s. Not a huge cooling trend, but you can definitely feel it's summer. Rexburg 78 for Wednesday, low 80s on Thursday, the upper 80s, low 90s for Saturday and Sunday. And again, no major storms on the horizon. The only storms we're going to see a few thunderstorms in there for tomorrow for central Idaho around Salmon and a few thunderstorms in for Thursday. We're looking at 80 for Wednesday, 83 on Thursday, hot and sunny weather for Friday, Saturday and Sunday across the valleys of central Idaho with some mild overnight lows. Jackson. A couple thunderstorms in there for Thursday, but that's about it. It's going to be windy and hot here for Jackson standards. Highs close to 80 degrees, low 80s for Friday, Saturday, mid 80s on Sunday with partly cloudy conditions as we swing through next week. Our John Adams GMC Spirit of Idaho comes to us from Brandon and Idaho Falls, and I think we can all agree, yeah, that was the Spirit of Idaho this past week.